Oftentimes, you will want to simulate the value of an input for testing of your control logic. There are tools inside the kit control palette to allow you to do this. In this case, I want to simulate the value of a space temp input and change that input value to test the control logic that controls my exhaust fan. In my kit control palette is a folder labeled util, which is short for utilities. If I expand that, there are a number of objects within that util folder that can be used to simulate values. There's a sine wave object that will generate values in a sine wave pattern, a random number generator, and a ramp, which generates objects in a steadily increasing and then decreasing ramp up and down change of values. So I'll drag that ramp object out onto my page, onto the wire sheet of the cafe, to simulate a value between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now by default, the ramp will move between 0 and 100. If I want to modify how that works, I can double click on the ramp and access the AX property sheet view of that ramp. And if I want this to move instead between, let's say, 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit instead of between 0 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit for testing, I would select the offset as my midpoint of the ramp, in this case 70 degrees. My amplitude is how far above and below 70 do I want the ramp output to change. So with an offset of 70 and an amplitude of 10, the ramp will output a value between 60 and 80. The period is how long it takes to, to complete a full cycle of ramping up and down. In this case, I can change that period from 30 seconds to one minute, slowing down the way the ramp outputs its value to give me more time to view how a change of value affects my control logic. If I save my changes and go back to the wire sheet, you'll see now the output of the ramp is somewhere between 60 and 80 at all times. And I can tie that output into my control logic by bringing that into my space temp and observing how that affects my control logic as the value of the ramp changes up and down.